Okay, folks, listen. The guy on the left, his name is General Colin Powell. He served under George Bush Sr. and George Bush Jr. Okay? He was a Secretary of State uh, when he was with uh, George Bush Jr. over here. And he died today. And I'm going to show you how he connects to Donald Trump getting his head wound. So remember, I'm saying that Donald Trump is going to get his head wound on 8-4, August 4th, which is Obama's birthday. So Trump gets his head wound on Obama's birthday, 8-4. And remember, Trump is the 45th elected president. So when you see the 4-5, you know it's connected to Trump. So like I said, I'm going to show you how Colin Powell, the guy who died today, connects to Donald Trump's head wound. So he died today, October 18th. So the first connection is that he died at the age of 84. Okay, I told you Trump gets his head wound on 8-4. Okay, there's your first clue. Colin Powell was born on 4-5. There's your 45 number. And I told you Trump is number 45. And he gets his head wound on 8-4. And Colin Powell died at the age of 84. So let's see how many days are in between April 5th that's the day that Colin Powell was born. October 18th is the day he died. Forget about the year. April 5th is the day he's born. October 18th is the day he died. Look at this. Six months, 14 days. Six months, 14 days. Why is that important? Donald Trump is born on 6-14. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And look at this, between June 14th and October 18th, the day Colin Powell died from uh, Trump's birthday to the day Colin Powell died. Look at this, it's four months and five days. There's your 45 number again. And remember, Colin Powell was born on 4-5. You see that? You see how crazy that is? Because Trump is the 45, you understand? And remember, I told you that Elvis is Trump's devil twin. From Elvis' birthday, January 8th, to the day Colin Powell died today, just the date, not the year. Forget it. Look, it's nine months, 11 days. There's your 9-11 connection again. Oh, man, it's unbelievable. So basically, from the day Colin Powell was born... On April 5th, 1937, to the day he died, look, it's 84 years, 6 months, 14 days. So there's your, okay, so look, 8-4 is the day I'm telling you Trump gets his head wound, 8-4, Obama's birthday. And then 6-14 is Trump's birthday, 6-14, okay? And by the way, 6 times 14 equals 84, you see what I'm you see how it's all connected? It's even connected to Obama. I told you because Obama's born on 84. And one of the viewers told me to look this up. From the day Colin Powell was born to the day Obama's born to the exact day and year, you see? It's 8888 days. Look at that. 8888 to their exact birth dates. Anyway, folks, the whole point is everything was connected to Trump. The Colin Powell was born on 4-5. There's your 45 connection. He died at the age of 84. And I told you Trump's going to get his head wound on 8-4, which is Obama's birthday. And between the dates 4-5 and today, which is 10-18, the day he died, is six months and 14 days. And Trump's birthday is 614. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, man? 
Um, and from Trump's birthday, 614, to today, 1018, is four months and five days. Everything is connected to the Trump head wound, okay? And Colin Powell was connected to Bush, you know? Anyway, folks, this is just a short video. I just wanted you to see how it all connects. But I'm going to be doing, I'm going to have to redo every single video I had about Trump's head wound and my other prediction about Elvis in Seattle on June 11th. I lost all my videos because YouTube terminated all my channels in one day. And I lost all those videos because I did not have it backed up. Anyway, folks, end of video.